Does color really matter? And how much does it matter? Stick around, let's take a look at it and figure it out. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Scott, Edge of 3D. It'll pop up here somewhere. Or it might go across, who knows. So, as long as I've been using 3D printers and following on different social media platforms and message boards and everywhere else, the subject's always been, does the color of the filament actually affect its strength? And I've heard everything. I've heard from absolutely it does not to um, it's the most important thing. And I've never tested it myself. So, disclaimer. My tests, my standards, my machine, that looks about right to me. So, take it or leave it. Do what you want with these tests. But this is the results that I came up with in my testing. Obviously... I tested ABS and ASA, and I tested only Polymaker at this point because that's what I have a lot of around. And you can see if the camera picks it up, there's there's filament everywhere in here of all different colors. But I tested black, white, and neutral. Um, just, you know, that's what I have. That's what we tested. So let's jump over here to the what I have for the results. And this is my materials testing um website or, or web page and I'll share a link to this. I have no idea how long the link will stay active. It depends on how many people click on it and how much they click around on it before it runs out and eventually I'll get it hosted somewhere where that's not an issue. But So let's just go to... Um, I'm going to go over here and do a comparison view and we're going to bring Polymaker Black is printed, Polymaker white is printed and polymaker natural is printed and all in the ABS's and we're going to take a look at those at first. So the x-axis brake load and this is the uh, this is the brake on the piece printed laying flat on the build plate so this is a test of the filament strength. ABS in natural 173.26 and I gotta remind you this is the average of five tests. I do five of each this is the average. So we've got 173.26. Um, the worst performing was white, and that was 156.04. Um, middle of the road was black, 166.64. The x-axis yield point, that is at the point when it's pulling it on the machine where it stops increasing in its resistance, where the load stops going up. So and then the break point is a different number, we'll get to that. But this is the yield point. This is the peak strength of the material before it starts to yield and give way. Um, surprisingly enough, the natural was the lowest before it started to give way with the highest strength. The white was the highest before it started to give away with the lowest strength. And black was the middle of the road. Break point here. That is at the point where it actually breaks, where the material breaks, and the machine captures that distance. So you'll see there's a little bit of difference. 2.67 is where it yielded at, and then it went ahead and went on to 3.46 millimeters before it broke on the black. So, kind of the same results here. Natural broke earliest, uh, white broke the latest, and black was the middle of the road. So... I don't know what to deduct from those other than I would say natural is the strongest in the ABS. Now the layer break, that's printed standing straight up and it's a layer adhesion. And here we have an entirely different set of results. And trust me, I ran this twice on all three materials. The results were the same. Black has the best layer adhesion, white is the middle of the road, natural has the worst layer adhesion. Printed them on two different printers, middle of the road, settings, um, sorry for the beeping in the background. That's one of those really obnoxious polymaker uh, poly dryers that just finished its job. Anyway, layer adhesion, 
totally opposite results, or not totally opposite results, but certainly very much different than what we were getting over here. So black's the strongest, natural's the weakest. Now this is the direct thread yield, and this is a M3 screw screwed four millimeters into the test piece and then pulled until it yields. Um, black was the strongest, white was the weakest, natural was the middle of the road, but in all honesty, I mean from 40 to 44 kilograms of force, you know, is, is, is it within the margin of error? I don't know what the margin error is. I don't have that set up on my standards. Heat set yield. This is uh same thing. Where this is a heat set. This is your standard uh, boron spec heat set, which is, um, and it's an M3, and it's uh, four millimeters deep by five millimeters in diameter. And I heat. I use a heat set press, and I press all these in at 300 degrees Celsius. Black's the strongest. Poly, or the natural is the weakest, white's the middle of the road. And finally, the shock break. This is the IZOD test. This is where the piece goes up there in the, uh, in the uh, hammer and it, it breaks it off. Black was the weakest, natural was the strongest. So, my take on this is natural is a stronger material than colored but not necessarily in every single category, at least on the ABS. So now we'll get rid of those and we'll go take a look at the ASA. Same thing, I did ASA in three colors, black, white, and natural. And we'll go back here to the brake load. Um, natural was the strongest. Um, Black was the middle of the road, white was the weakest. Kind of right in the almost same results as the ABS. Uh, yield point. On um, this one was a little bit different. Uh, ASA held on longer before it yielded. Uh, black and white basically yielded at exactly the same point because if you can measure two hundredths of a millimeter, that's, you know, we're just going to call that the same. The break point, the point at where it finally broke in two. Uh, white held on the longest, and black and natural exactly the same. 3.69, 3.69, and 3.78. I mean, we're talking less than a tenth of a millimeter, so they all basically broke at the same point. Here's a, here's a good one, layer adhesion. For whatever reason, natural just hangs on and I went ahead and ran this set of tests twice ran this set of tests twice ran this set of tests twice natural has a really good layer adhesion in ASA uh, white is the worst black is a little better than white but still nowhere near natural don't have an explanation for it that's that's two sets of two sets of tests of five pieces um, basically coming up in the same same deal and direct thread yield um, threaded three millimeter bolt threaded four millimeters into it pulled till it yields natural was the strongest at 49.6 white was the weakest at 34.2 and black was pretty close to natural at 46.7 and that kind of follows a little bit the ABS numbers um, heat sets, here was a good one, uh, black held on to 104 kilograms, white at 92, natural was the middle of the road. And the IZOD shock, this one, you know, pun intended, was shocking. Uh, natural, 67.8, uh, black and white, both in the uh, high 40s, mid to high 40s, 46.4, 47.2, less than one. Uh, difference between them. So that's, let me get back over here. That's in a nutshell, yes. Um, it does seem as though colors make difference. Uh, you know, I know a lot of the conversation has always been about white versus black and white has, uses a, 
think it's aluminum oxide. It's some kind of an oxide to get the white color. Um, it's not a pigmentation. Where colors actually use a pigmentation. So doesn't make a difference in my testing. Yes, it does. As far as as far as Polymaker brand and their ABS and their ASAs, it does make a difference. I haven't tested any other brands. Over time, I will. Um, you know, will it be this year, next month, two years from now? I have no idea. But eventually, um, as as time allows and funding allows, more and more materials get tested. I will get test results out there and we'll see what they uh what they say but uh i'm gonna pause here for a minute and we'll run through a video of a bunch of this stuff breaking um it'll show what each material is and where it broke at or yielded at um all captured in slow-mo and then sped up obviously but uh we'll be right back <laughs> There you go. That's uh, that shows one of each one of the materials that I've tested for these. So you've got uh, uh, you've got the x-axis, the the layer, direct thread, heat set, and izods for each material. So that's five per material times six materials. So that was 30, 30 breaks there with a little bit of music, um, high speed. But it's always fun to watch stuff breaks. That's it for now. Um, once again, I want to thank everybody for helping me get to 5,000 subscribers. We're well past 5,000 right now. Uh, we can take a look over here right quick and see. Let me uh, let me open this up right quick and see where we're at at this moment. Um, as of right now when I'm filming this, we're at 5,051. So once again, I never thought I would see 50, 500, 1,000. And now over 5,000, so that's yeah, it's, uh, it's great. But I appreciate each and every one of you that stick around for these videos. I appreciate your comments. Hit the thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. Hit the subscribe button. That helps my channel get out to more people. And hit the little bell icon if you want to see when I drop the next video. Um, I'm going to continue to do testing. Um, working with some more of the uh, fiber on materials right now, printing those out. We'll be testing those. I'm um, not sure if that's next, but um, and then going to venture off into some other manufacturers in the coming month. Like I say, I've got filaments ordered. We'll be working on those. And as always, peace out. <laughs>